This is where problems start when the other starts to represent another will, another law acting in my space. What does that mean? It means when a racist looks at a scarf, at a Muslim scarf today, they no longer see cultural otherness. Anyone who wants to sit down and debate about scarves in terms of cultural otherness missed the point completely. Today, all the citizens of Western nations, even in uh, Wagga Wagga, I hope no one's from Wagga Wagga here, uh, <laughs> but wherever you want in the country, sort of like they're blasé enough to cope with cultural difference, let me tell you. They've seen enough in life. Cultural difference does not annoy anybody. What annoys somebody is the law of the other. When someone looks at the scarf, they don't see another culture. They see another law. That is, and more, more specifically, going in the mind of the races, they see another patriarchal law. Whether it's patriarchal or not, you can work it out. But the fact is, the others say, this woman, this woman is living in my nation where my law should apply. And what's she doing? She's saying, I am happy to subject myself to another law. This is how I see it. So what does it mean here? Well, it means basically an old an old, sort of like anthropologically well-known law, <laughs> which is one nation, one patriarchy. And we never like the patriarchy of the other operating in our spaces. We want to control our women. We don't want men from elsewhere coming and controlling. It's tribal. <coughs> the law, the women in my space, I want to control them. These guys come here and say, hey, you live here, you're our women. This is tribal and this is how it operates. You can put all kinds of sophisticated stuff on it, but bottom line is this is what it is. Who controls the women?